good week. So this is usually our slow week. We estimated 700. We came in at $1,491 with a surplus of $791. Welcome to or welcome back to Norris Cove. If you are new here, I am Yoshida. I'm a self-employed hairstylist. I'm also the owner of Norris Cove, which is an online stationery shop where we sell budgeting stickers, budgeting supplies, as well as functional stickers for your planner. If this sounds like something that you would be interested in, please do me a favor, hit that subscribe button, also hit that notification bell, and let me know that you're new here by leaving a comment in the comment section so that I can welcome you to the Cove. Okay, but today, you guys, we're going to be doing our weekly budget. Also, a little bit of closeout, which we've already, I've already kind of went through the numbers of the closeout of last week. Um, this was last week, which was the 26th of February through March 3rd. You guys, we did so good. I don't know what, well, I do know what happened. Um, some old clients came back, praise the Lord, and um, just had a pretty good week. So this is usually our slow week. We estimated 700. We came in at $1,491 with a surplus of $791. Everything pretty much got paid. I did pay Allie, but it's going to come out next week. So I just moved that over to next week, but I did highlight it. Um, Shopify, we moved that. Car insurance, we moved that. GoDaddy came out. Cloth and paper. Uh, Amazon, community. I thought it was 30. We ended up paying 40. Um, we did get our booth rent paid. All these things in red did not get paid. Uh, Barclays did get paid. Let me check that off. Yeah, Barclays got paid. And for some reason, I must have forgotten to write down these things, the Klarna's and all that great stuff. Let me find my little multi-pen. I swear this pen has been a lifesaver. Um, so Klarna got paid. They weren't in the negative, but they were just due a firm. Amazon. Now, Amazon was, it came out, but it, I forgot about it. So, I'm just going to circle that. So, we paid them um, for another firm, another firm, Apple and Klarna. Apple must have moved because this usually comes out at the first, but it ended up coming at the end of the month, which is fine, which was like $2.99. So we thought we would be spending in bills $557.54. I ended up spending $670.39. Over here, my sinking funds cash envelope category. I had already put in, I think, five for my daughter. And actually, I think that was on, yeah, that was last week. Anyway, I just guesstimated everything together. I ended up giving her 85. All my envelopes ended up being 200. That's 285. And expenses, I had budgeted $65. I ended up spending 67. Is that correct? No. No, no, no. Wait a minute. No, uh, wait a minute. I actually spent more. Let me wipe this out. Oh. I got to change my clothes out because 67 and then I put down 50. I put another $55. I got to find it. Now, what did I do with it? It was like 55. Let me do a little calculating because I had to take my son to his college. So let's just put 56 because it was about that. 123. Oh, my God. So this came out from last week and then I had to get gas again because I had to take my son to his college and I used gas. So 123. Matter of fact, all of this is wrong. Wrong. And then products, I ended up buying some hair products and I spent $30. And then in miscellaneous, it's roughly around $191. I tried to kind of keep up with it. I didn't keep up with everything. So you'll notice there's a little gap, but that's mainly probably eating out. I know I ate a good two hundred dollars worth of eating our food, but I just didn't write that here. So let's do one twenty three plus thirty plus one ninety one. 
$344. Oh my God, I got to change. See, this is where that money be going. So, and that's what we spent in expenses. Let me go here and change expense. Yeah, I need to change expenses. Expenses came in at three forty four. Okay, and then total sinking funds was two eighty five. Okay, and then debt. What I did for debt, even though I don't add that over here, I included all the corners, the affirms, and my credit card of community, and that is my total debt. So now, y'all, I know I created this, okay? <laughs> but now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to still put it here, but then I'm going to calculate everything and put it over here and give myself a uh, total for debt. So going forward. So that's what we have. I'll have to do, redo my closeout. So let me swip over, look, switch over to closeout really quickly. I tried to go in and do my closeout, but what I'm going to do also is just do a separate video. I've kind of already did the numbers. So I put in for pretty much the fifth week, 670. That is correct. But total expenses is different. So expenses, I put in 67 was budgeted and we ended up spending 344 so i need to make a note of that and then i want to say i did a um for debt payoff i put in 295.16 but i think what i did was i added let me find it on for apple i included apple by accident let me do a little calculating right quick what I'll do, you know what, what I'll do is just save that for my closeout video. So that kind of closes out the week of February 26th to uh, March 3rd. Let's get into this coming week and I'm going to go to the monthly and that way I can see what needs to be paid. I'm just going to have that over here. Um, I'm going to fill in this so the source of income is here. And this week we get paid from the budget box, but it's a low month for the budget box, but I'm going to, I've already bought, purchased some things. So pretty much I'm paying myself back. So I'm putting no co and I'm going to do a hundred is what I budgeted for hair. <sighs> Let's see. This is supposed to be our busy week. I'm just going to put, I think I've been putting like, let me look real quick. If last week was a slow week, okay, I've been doing 1300 on the busy week. That's what we're going to guesstimate. And now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to hit and fill in all the things that need to be paid this week. If it's in red, I'll switch pens, put it in red, and then either I'll speed it up or come back.
Okay, you guys, so we are back. I just realized I didn't put the date. This will be the 4th through the 10th. This is going to be check one or week one for me. Okay, so this is what we're paying or anticipating this week. We have 1300 13, plus 100 I'm just going to put down here total. That leaves us with $1,400. Then we have that Apple will come out $349. I think this is Apple Care. Um, then we have Walmart for $60, Affirm for $54.36. Um, what I did was I actually only have two Affirms this week. One at the beginning of the week for thirteen forty three, and then one at the end of the week. I'm not for sure, but they're like monthly payments. So this is the final balance here. I probably well, I should didn't need to put that in order because they're on they're caught up. So what I'm going to do is just go ahead and pay all of this to be done with the firm, and then we're done with that quad pays. Now there are some things I need to get for the budget box, and I was like, oh, here's the thing: when you are trying to get things you got to get them kind of early and i know i'll probably have the money to pay for them later so i was like well maybe i should use one of my quad pays and just pay it right off but i don't trust myself so we're gonna see anyway there is credit one for 40 there's shopify for 200 that's in red because one it needs to be paid it's behind and then i just may pay it next week but it's just here apple music is 12 canva is 15 t-mobile 113.94 and I, I put the little, I circled the number eight, which the day is due in red because I forgot to put it in red because this is a, it's not behind yet, but it is behind because it is a payment arrangement. Okay. Then we have booth rent on the ninth at 250, um, American Home Shield at 60. And then these things that I need to catch up, which I just kind of pick one, but it's in red to kind of bring my eye to it. To let me know that these things are behind because before if I didn't list them, I just forgot about them. And actually, I need to even do PayPal because I forgot and I didn't put PayPal on my um, budget and forgot about it, y'all. So over here at Sinking Funds, what I did was I just kind of put in Sinking Funds as a SF and put that I would like to do 150 this week. I don't know until the end of the week because the way I get paid, but the money would be, if this makes sense, the money is coming out of what I'm going to now, what I'm going to cash stuff for next week will be coming out of this money. So my guesstimate is 150 Then I realized where the gas went. <laughs> because it's going to come out of this week's money, it's $53.52. The money is in the bank, but I don't even know if I should add that. I have it here. I'm going to leave it there. And then I think I'm just going to wipe this out. I'm just going to leave it in case we have to get more gas. Um, I don't think I need products this week. I don't think so. So also what I did was I went and took everything that was like a debt payment and moved it over here. That way it has its own total of what it needs to what needs to be done. But I just pretty much have it here and bills do. Um, so let's do some calculating. Okay, I have 584.79, and I knew something wasn't right. Um, I'm missing a couple of things. Allie will be coming out this week of $450. <clears throat> also, I need to put down um, car insurance, which is State Farm. Yep, they're behind. So let me add this here because that is definitely coming out this week. What is it? Nice. I pushed it, so yeah, it's coming out this week. So that gives us a total of $1,034.79. I'm just going to put a check here because I know it's coming out. The money's there. So let's do. 
79. I need to start rounding these things off. Plus 150. That's 1,184. And we don't need to add this up because it's already done. We're not going to add gas. We can. But I don't really think I need gas this week. Let me just take this off of here. Should I add that gas? I took it out of last week. It's there. Okay. Let's leave this here. So we have a total of 1100 Excuse me, one thousand one hundred and eighty-four dollars and seventy-nine cent. Um, that is our total bills. Let's subtract that from fourteen. Two hundred and fifteen dollars. Uh, what I'm going to do is just add miscellaneous, and I'm going to make it two fifteen twenty-one to zero it out. Okay, so now we have zero based our budget for next week. You guys, let me tell you, sometimes what I'll do is I'll go back over and fix some things that I may have forgotten about. Um, as you can see, I had a moment where I realized I hadn't paid PayPal. Matter of fact, let me give them a amount here. Let me just put 100 down for them. Uh, State Farm is like 613, put 614. So, like, if there's extra, I'll end up trying to pick one of these if I can. Um, but that's it for right now. I'll come back next week and close this out while putting in all of that. And we're going to see how it goes. That's all I got. <laughs> that's all I got. But I'm so proud of myself because I did pay down those quad pays, you guys. Um, I'm going to do a debt payoff. I wanted to do it at the end of the month, but I really can't do it because, um, again, I'm self-employed. So Saturday, I had to wait to see what I had left and if I made a debt payment or anything or, you know, what my total was for the week. So I'm definitely going to do a debt payoff. That should be coming one day this week. Um, yeah, so that's it, you guys. Um, yeah, I don't have to close this out till next week. And I did do the closeout for last week. But again, there will be a closeout video. So I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Please do me a favor. Hit that subscribe button, y'all. I am trying to get to... I'm almost at 1,500 subscribers. I'm trying to get to at least 3,000. I have not met my watch hours. I'm not even, I thought I was halfway there. I'm not there. So I'm trying to reach my watch hours so that I can finally get paid through uh, YouTube. I've been doing this since 2019 and have yet to been to be um, part of the YouTube program. So I'm trying to reach my watch hours, get to 3,000 subscribers. We get to 3,000 subscribers. I'm definitely doing a giveaway. And that's it. So if you are new here, leave me a message in the comment section, letting me know that you're new so that I can welcome you to the Cove. And again, thank you guys so much for watching. Bye.